Okay, let's have a look at the last of our new favorite features in Muse 2014. This is again another really simple addition and that I think could be easily overlooked, but it's really important because it affects the SEO of your website or the rankings of your website in Google or in a search engine. So what this new feature is, is on the text panel here, if we bring up the text panel, you can see that we have kind of our standard controls that you've seen before, but below that we have this new tagging feature. And what this means is you can apply an actual paragraph level tag to text automatically or easily within this panel. So let me show you how this works. So if I click on this welcome to Dalton text block here, and then if I go into my paragraph styles, this is heading one. We've applied a name or a paragraph style to this heading. But if you actually click on the style options within that, you can see that it says the style name is heading one, but the paragraph tag is also set to H1 or headline. These by default are set to paragraph and we need this set to an H1 tag because Google is going to look through your site and look for headings. Headings are defined by these H tags. So anytime that we've created text and we've applied this H1 tag to it, Google can see this as a heading and it's really important for your SEO. So it, before this version of Muse, it was really easy to miss blocks of text that weren't necessarily assigned to a heading tag. Now, if we click on this text frame, click the text panel and below that you can see we have actually our link style here which is helpful as well but also the tag that's applied to it and right now it's the h1 tag and we could change that quickly on this panel so again a really small yet probably overlooked feature that i think is essential to properly building a site in muse so thanks again for watching our tour of all these features and if you're curious about everything that's included in the new version of Muse, be sure to check out the official release notes on the Muse Knowledge Base website. Thanks again. Cheers.